the warmer weather is going to be sticking around and that means the dog's health becomes more of an issue for this year's UP 200 and midnight run. TV6's Eric DeBroca explains how the veterinarians are screening the dogs and preparing them for an active weekend. Mushers and their handlers brought their dogs to Riverside Auto for an important checkup today. A crew of 24 veterinarians, vet technicians, and students were on hand using their stethoscopes and other medical equipment. We're going to listen to the heart and the lungs, make certain we have a normal heart rhythm. Um, we're also going to do an orthopedic exam where we're going to feel a uh, joint range of motion, uh, any sore spots, anything. Behind me is where the screening and examining process for the dogs is being completed. There will be nearly 300 dogs getting screened to make sure they're in perfect health for this weekend's big race. Dozens of volunteers were available helping out the vets. There will be three checkpoints with six volunteers throughout the weekend. We signed up because we enjoy dog mushing. Uh, we're recreational mushers and we like to help the mushers out at the race. Because of the warmer weather conditions and the recent sled dog death in the Iron Line race, the vets and volunteers are being a little more cautious concerning the dog's safety during the race. Our role is to assist the vets and the mushers. We take the paperwork to the vets and the mushers and they are checking the dogs. And when they're checking the dogs, we ensure that the paperwork's filled out correctly. This goes a long way in the thorough screening process to give the sled dogs a healthy and happy race this year. Eric DeBroca, TV6 News, Marquette.